<clears throat> well, it was Ava Lily's communion today. So I went to church. Hadn't done that in a while. Born and raised Catholic, but hadn't been to church in a while. And uh, Ava had her communion, and we went to lunch after, and I got treated to, uh, don't we, you know, three very, very different races, didn't we? West 52nd raced tremendously. They scoped him after just a trickle of blood. So I left it up to uh, Jason and the veterinarian whether they wanted to put him on the Lasex program. Now, the thing is, there was no mucus, no redness, no nothing, just a few little trickles of blood. Long summer, a lot of heat coming. Uh. Might... Yeah, don't. It might be uh, a wise thing to put them on the Lasex program, and that's probably where they're going to lean. West 52nd race, tremendous. Cleared to the lead. The horse that beat him only raced for, what, 100 feet? Get up to beat him at the wire for second. 53 and one, huge mile. And then I watched, yes, his race. I thought I did. Couldn't see him. Apparently, he started acting up, going to the gate. This horse that hasn't done anything wrong since, what, February of his two-year-old year? I don't know what happened there. I uh, have no idea, no explanation for yes. And oh, so pine, I believe, um, you know, the perfect storm. We had the horse ready to go. Uh, this is, was always my problem, you know, when you're trying to race. And Scott and I had talked with this, Scott, one of our clients and a partner of mine, and oh, so pine, talked about this in depth about how I did not want to race this horse Tuesday, back Sunday. It was too early, especially this time of year for a horse on Lazex. I didn't want to do it. Now, they haven't scoped the horse yet, but I can almost assure you there's a little bit of blood in there. You know, this is a horse that it's easy for me to say, oh, he left with him. He didn't drive him bad. He left, got away in the two hole behind the favorite, and he stalled. And this is a horse that needs to race every eight days, every nine days, little training in between. I can almost assure you there's going to be some spots of blood in that trachea today that we're going to have to clean up. And, and unfortunately, this is a hard lesson learned, but we didn't have an alternative, did we? I guess we could have trained him hard, but we had an opportunity to tighten him up. It's worked well in the past for me and other times. Tuesday back Sunday, easy mile on Tuesday. It's okay. This is a three-year-old, his second start of the year, a horse that's a proven bleeder last year. I'm pretty sure I know what they're going to find when they look in that scope. But um, I guess we'll say that's unofficial until we know, but I'm pretty sure. So a uh, valuable lesson learned here today. One, we're going to have to be a little easier on Oso Pine for the next little while. Now his next stake's five weeks away. That's two weeks to clean him up, put him into go, race him from behind, race him from behind again. Um, you know, I know there's a lot of people saying, geez, can James go down and drive the horses? Yeah, James can go down and drive the horses. And in fact, that was my plan all along. But Josh had done a good job. I think he drove West 52nd good. I think he drove uh, Oso Pine good. Um I, I, I can't really put the fault of yes on him. He's driven yes many times, and this was an unfortunate error. Um, and not to say that it was a driver error. It was an error. So I'll focus on how well West 52nd raced good. I guess we're just going to have to give yes a pass since he's never done anything wrong in his life. And oh, so pine. Um, frustrating day. And I know from my partners, I'm sure I'm going to hear from it, hear from them, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get it. But... Um, we did the best we could to have this colt ready to go today. Um, he didn't race as well as we hoped he would or as well as we hoped he would uh, this time of year. But it's a long year. He's a tough horse and he'll bounce back. Just, so that is um, it for a Sunday stakes. Ava, stop. For a Sunday stakes uh, rundown, I guess. I guess very happy for the owners, uh, for my partners in West 52nd, clients that own him. Very happy for them. Yes, I guess we're just going to have to turn the page because he, he never does anything wrong. And West and uh, Oso Pine, obviously, um, I got some splaining to do. And um, we need to fix this immediately and get this colt back on the rails because today uh, one of our best colts did certainly didn't look like one. So we'll get this rectified and cleared up. And... Um, West 52nd will be back in to go, I would assume, in a couple of weeks. We actually probably will enter him onto the Lazex program as there was a couple of specks of blood there. Uh, yes, we'll be back in to go right away. What are you going to say? And Oso Pine, we will get a uh, plan of attack in place. I'll update you guys via print on the site, but I'm pretty sure I know what it's going to start with. Anyway, I will talk to you all soon. A uh, bit of a bittersweet day. It's a nice day here in Ontario, and I already started the healing, so 
see you guys soon, uh, hopefully sooner than later. Um, tomorrow's White Tiger qualifying, and then Saturday, hopefully, he qualifies well and a big day. Very similar circumstance to Oso Pine, isn't it? Friday, Monday back Saturday. So Oso Pine, uh, or uh, White Tiger, qualifies tomorrow. We're going to take a very close look at him, probably scope him, take his blood after, make sure he comes out of the race good, and make sure he's 110% before we ever head to Pennsylvania. But Stonebridge Symbol will be going either way for sure and potentially Casanova's Jewel, and maybe just a tad. Made a break last night, but uh, pretty sure we could have called that. Uh, tall order for Colin Kelly. He doesn't know the horse. The bike he usually used got smashed up, so the hobbles had to be set in Colin's bike. I couldn't set them. Hands broke. So um, James knows him well. So if we're heading to Pennsylvania, we might take just a tad also. Anyway, uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. I'm getting on my way here, and uh, we'll have the sets for the open house out to you soon. A big week for me this week, although I am injured, I am on the mend, I am on the shelf. I will be in the Meadowlands on Friday night for In the Sulky interview, and hopefully I'll be watching our horses race in Pennsylvania trackside on the Saturday and then right back here for the open house on Sunday. Talk to you guys soon. Take care.